Oh man, working with Boston Ballet Dancers is probably the easiest job that I have in the world. They're so amazing. Um, even just watching them take class has been amazing and inspiring by itself. But just their willingness to really be vulnerable and dive in deep while being um, experts at their own craft has been something that I truly didn't expect right off the bat. And they gave me everything and more. My first reaction when I got the call to choreograph Folder Ball was um, honestly surprising. Um, I always uh, manifested myself that I was going to return here um, to my ground roots, um, but I expected it to be at least a decade um, while I established myself and hopefully be able to come back. But um, it was a lot earlier and I was very, very um, excited and amped uh, to choreograph for them. And yeah, it's been a dream come true. The inspiration for this piece um, is the actual title, which is What Happens If. We always think that we see uh, the standard classical ballet or anything like that, but then once we go into this world, it's gonna, it kind of changes everything. And seeing what happens if the dancers get to do this type of thing, what happens if we destroy the normal and kind of inspire and kind of see what happens once we explore. We're trying to really push the boundaries and stay current. Um, especially as a ballet company because we have a general stigma of what ballet dancers should look like um, but now that they're doing works like this um, it should broaden the audience even more while still respecting and maintaining the classic works that they are really really good at and hopefully this will be a, a greater expansion. I would really really love to thank the Boston Ballet Dancers, the company and of course Miko for letting me be a part of this. I hope the audience enjoys it and more to come soon.